Okay. Uh, this is going to be a demonstration video for the um, next steps after you've done your, um, you know, your practice um, uh, lettering assignment. So, uh, you know, basically we're just going to go into like your, um, you know, your final project, um, at least like a part of the final project. So, uh, yeah, once you're done with the drawing though, um, and, um, you know, I approve of the drawing, so I'm actually going to look over your drawings. Um, uh, you know, definitely if I give you like full points, um, you know, you can, you know, move forward or, um, you know, if I do make some notes on like some corrections or things to think about, you know, just kind of keep in mind on that. But, um, you know, for those of you that kind of finished early today, um, you know, because, you know, we're spending like one more day on this, um, you can definitely move on ahead though. If not, this video is going to be for like, um, you know, just moving forward. Um, but basically you're going to choose like one of your words that you did and you're going to convert it onto the um, bigger paper drawing. All right, so um, yeah, definitely use like your sketch as like a reference. So I'm actually gonna have this on the side. It won't, you know, be in the way. Uh, I'm gonna use it as a reference. But basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just be, you know, doing like the same drawing but much, much bigger. So um, you know, just so you guys don't run into trial and error with like what I did here. Uh, obviously, I wasn't able to fit in the whole word per professional. So um, you know, I was gonna decide I'll have a little bit of fun with it. You know, put professional to put like not really like kind of you know fun bubble letters. Um, I may finish this, I may not, but um, you know, obviously this is like you know something that you don't want happening with your um, drawings. But you know, just to kind of give you like a direction of like what's happening with your drawings, so is we're going to um, you know use the um, lettering technique that we've you know that you use in your practice, and then we're going to put it into like one point perspective. So um, you know, obviously this is not finished, but this is like kind of the direction that we're going in with your drawing. You want to try to make the letters as big as possible. Now, I may make an extra credit where you can kind of fit some of your other letters in between, um, but that's, you know, for, like, later when we're, like, finishing up with the project. So, okay, just to show you a good start, you know, just thought it would be a good start with it. Um, you know, definitely we're going to, like, make some adjustments to my trial and error version of the project. Um, okay. So, yeah, first thing we're doing, though, is, you know, just like what I mentioned before, we're just going to convert the drawing you did here, you know, spend a little bit more time on it. If there's anything that needs to like adjusting or fixing, you know, we can work on it and make it better for your um, bigger drawing. So I want you to just kind of just focus on just the uh, lettering part for, you know, just right now. Don't worry about one well, perspective. Don't worry about making it in 3D. Uh, just only worry about the um, lettering part. So, um, okay, so to draw your letters, and again, this is kind of like optional, like how you want to do it. Um, I'm going to try to like space it in the middle and, you know, try to make it look nice. And I'm going to probably have it like a little bit more above than the horizon line. So um, you don't really need this line on here, but I'm just going to draw it anyways, just for, you know, just for me to keep myself in check. But, you know, one of my goals with the, um, actually, you know what, yeah, why don't you draw this line here, just so you guys know where um, your line's going to be. So, you know, it really depends on, like, how you want the words to look. So just remember, um, I'm going to show you this example here. Let me zoom in. So, I mean, you don't really see it too much, though, but, um, you know, just remember, like, any words that you draw above that vanishing point, it's going to show, like, the bottom of the letters, and then obviously it's going to show the size depending on if it's left or right, and then if you have it in the bottom, though, it's going to show the um, top part. Okay, so, you know, um, in terms of, like, the word professional, though, I do kind of want to have the um, letters show more on the top, just to make it like seem like it's more like top dominant. And it'll, it'll make more sense when I show you like more of the drawing. So, um, you know, in terms of like this one here, I'm gonna have a little play with where the horizon line will be. I'm actually gonna put a, or, you know, what, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna have it actually a little bit below this, the the middle. So you don't have to have it directly in the middle. If you want, you can. Uh, but I'm going to experiment with trying it a little bit lower just to see how it looks. Uh, but the way that one point perspective works though, um, you know, if I do it on the bottom, it's going to show a little bit more of the um, bottom of the letters when I put in the 3D in perspective. So that'll help out with like the drawing itself. So definitely like depending on like what you want to do with your letters, make it up more on the bottom or on the top, you know, you want to, um, adjust your lines accordingly. 
All right, so again, we're just going to freehand the letters. So uh, I'm just going to count how many letters I have. So this is like a more challenging letter to do. So I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 letters to um, add here. So my suggestion, so you don't run into like that issue I had with trying to fit in like professional. And again, I probably wouldn't take off points if something like this happened with your drawing. But you know, this I feel like is not really professional. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, we want to try to do things the right and proper way just because that's what the word is. So um, I'm actually going to space my letters and I'm actually going to draw like, um, and you know, you can even do this as well. You know, you can make a guide on the paper. So if you're really nitpicky about like, um, you know, making sure your lettering is um, correct, you know, definitely you can do like a, a guide. And you know, since we are doing a much, much bigger drawing, you know, do feel free to stand up to do your drawing. So I'm, I'm actually standing up to draw this out. And I'm going to, actually, you know, make it, let me make it lower. Yeah, I'm being real nitpicky with this. So yeah, do take your time with this drawing. You know, I don't want you to rush. Because you know, this is like your, your final final. Uh, you know, I can always give you like another piece of paper, but you know, you want to do things correct the first time. So I'm just gonna draw, you know, just a very light line across. So this will be where the top of my letter starts. All right. Let me adjust my lighting so you guys can see my drawing. Very, very faint lines, and this will be where the bottom of my letter would be. So. A little bit trickier since we don't have a rule that goes from like the, uh, you know, from one end to the other. We're gonna work on a bigger paper. Um, you know, just try your best to use the rule that you have, and you know, just to take it even a step further, I can just put like uh, another line in the middle. You know, this will help me with my letters with like E and F or even P. So you know, you so you might be familiar with like this kind of grid in like I don't know like first grade when you were learning to write letters. So, you know, same idea. So, okay. So I'm just gonna, you know, draw my letters. And since I have this guide already, it's kind of makes things a little bit easier. So, um, so, so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of outlining where like the letters would be. So I would put the P here, the R. So I got one, two. I'm trying to give like equal space to like each side. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I try to equally space it. Again, you have to kind of eyeball. Like my last few letters are gonna get smaller. So, <laughs> and again, it's not perfect, but you know, you want to just try your best to fit everything in. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit just because this there's like a book on this side. So I'm going to draw my letters. So I'm just gonna freehand the letters, you know, just to see how it looks. So it's you know, hopefully nobody has like a 12 letter word. Um because you know, even for me, this is like really challenging to fit this all in. <laughs> okay, so this is the letter P here. I'm drawing. So basically, you're just drawing in the letters that you're creating. So you know, I'm just essentially copying it. I'm doing it very light with the pencil, just sketching it out. So um, you know, maybe maybe this might not work out. Um, you know, I had to kind of start over on it again. So I'm noticing like the, the letters a little bit too big. So you know, you'll be making like some of these adjustments as you're working on the drawing. I'm actually going to end my letter like right here. It's just a little too long. Okay, but take your time with the drawing though. You know, going from like this small to this big is like, it's not easy, it's really challenging. Um, and you know, sometimes what you do in your smaller paper though may not translate well bigger, but you know, that's just something we had to do, get more comfortable with as artists, um, as you know, Artists kind of like, you know, like the look of, you know, when you work bigger, you know, when we work bigger, larger, it looks, you know, it creates more of an impact in the work. Whereas something smaller is like less impact. Um, so. 
And you know, we'll probably be doing like most of your projects pretty big. I can't think of any projects where it'd be like really small. You know, this project originally was, um, I was gonna have you all do it small, but since, um, you know, since, you know, we can still do perspective with this, you know, you can use a regular rule, it's not a big deal. Okay, and just remember like, you know, little shortcuts. So like, I feel like this is easy to draw the P and R. You do that shape and then, you know, you can always erase your lines. But yeah, do take your time with this. So, um, you know, your craftsmanship's gonna be important for this project. So do, do take your time. And, you know, now my letters are kind of changing, so if you look at it, they're a little bit longer than my original, which is fine. You know, that's going to happen. Okay. But I'm trying my best to space the letters properly. Okay, following that guide that I made. And some of you guys may have to make your letters a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. In my case, I have to make it smaller because I'm drawing more letters. But, you know, just adjust accordingly. You know, don't feel bad if you mess up. You know, just, you know, you could just start over. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but, you know, just important though, just draw lightly with your pencil. Okay, but I would just kind of sketch out all the letters first. And then afterwards, you know, you'll see like what you need to change or adjust or fix if necessary. And always, always draw lightly. Okay, but you kind of get the idea though. I do P R O F F E S I O N A L to, you know, finish that drawing. Okay, and then there's gonna be another video that's gonna show you it in one point perspective. Um, you know, the lines will go converge this way. But first work on just writing the letter out. Um, it's gonna make it easier to write the letter out just because uh, you know, if you start doing things in 3D, you're gonna um, you know, run into this issue of um, you know, some of those lines that you make into 3D, like right here. You, know, you won't know that it's overlapping until after you've written off the letter. So it, it is much easier because you're gonna run into like, this issue here where like, oh, um, uh, this R is overlapping the O. So you know, do this first, it'll make this step a lot easier. You, know, you won't run into some issues like mine where this is too long. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm at the risk of a lot of these letters to make it work. Um, you know, just want to do this. All right. 